if you've got one of these Mercedes W204s or similar, and someone has come in here and removed the air box without knowing how to do it, and ended up breaking the uh, clip, you can fix it with a zip tie, a mountable zip tie, and a screw, just like that, and it's very easy, and it's actually more secure. And then from then on, you just use a uh, Torx, in my case, a Torx screw to get back, get the airbox back off. But I'll show you what I use here to do it. Of course, you'll need a drill, and that'll determine, be determined by the size of your screw. But uh, I use a, I would recommend you using a, a screw that's designed for um, plastics. Like this one, it's uh, got a very coarse thread and not a sharp tip. And this one's actually a Torx drive. It's pretty handy. It's stainless, so it won't rust under the hood. This is an example of a mountable zip tie. It's got a flange where the screw will, will go. And uh, you just simply wrap that around uh, the fixture to tighten it up. And then uh, I use a tool like this. Uh, this tool tensions the zip tie. And you can adjust the tension and once you get it to once it gets to reaches the tension that you set it has a feature where it cuts it so uh, it trims it very uh, cleanly and flush as you can see and so this I wasn't sure how I was gonna fix this but I was tired of smelling the the bad air coming out of the uh, the engine compartment because what, what happens is the the air is drawn in right in from the engine instead of uh, on, from the windshield area. Especially when you got the fan running high, it's going to pull a lot of air. And there's a really pliable gasket that's supposed to make a good seal here. But if some idiot's broken the clips, it doesn't seal at all.